Good morning, everyone. I had a wonderful day of rest yesterday. And I can't really think of anything to talk about right now. So let's just get going. Wow, I must be sick. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm desperately not trying to get sick. <laughs> uh, everyone has a cold over there. I just have my morning cough and <laughs> cleaning out my sinuses. That's about it. So far, two days till Thanksgiving, right? Yes, uh, three days. Oh, don't let me get sick for Thanksgiving. I gotta cook. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we are in Psalm 17, 18, and 19. Whoa, 18's a long one. That's why I need to get started right away. All right, Psalm 17, the plea of the innocent, prayer of David. Oh, here's this prayer. Psalms, okay, it sounds like. Most of these are songs, not prayers. Well, prayer can be song. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Listen, Yahweh, to an upright cause. Pay attention to my cry. Lend an ear to my prayer. My lips free from deceit. Mm -hmm. From your presence will issue my vindication. Your eyes fixed on what is right. You probe my heart, examine me at night. You test me by fire and find no evil. I have not sinned with my mouth as most people do. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> I always find that interesting. Okay, I do that too. People out there, lots of people, some people, a few people, most people, everyone. How do we know that? <laughs> Unless you're actually, right? why don't we name exactly what we have experienced? I know of two people who have spoken deceitful. Here it said most people. How would you know that it is most people? Again, isn't this in a way saying also that, or or having to say that, isn't that dim, kind of diminishing what was just said beforehand? I really try myself not to do that, you know, to uh, elevate myself or think of myself elevated because others aren't. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Ah, it's a, it's a tough one not to do oneself, isn't it? Yes, practice, practice. I have treasured the word from your lips. My steps never stray from the paths you lay down. From your tracks, so my feet never stumble. I call up on you, God, for you answer me. Turn your ear to me. Hear what I say. Show the evidence of your faithful love, savior of those who hope in your strength against attack. Guard me as the pupil of an eye. Shelter me in the shadow of your wings from the presence of the wicked who would maltreat me. Deadly enemies are closing in on me. Engrossed in themselves, they are mouthing arrogant words. They are advancing against me. Now they are closing in watching for the chance to hurl me to the ground, like a lion preparing to pounce, like a young lion crouching in ambush. Arise, Yahweh, confront him and bring him down. With your sword, save my life from the wicked. Yahweh, from mortals by your hand, from mortals whose part in life is in this world, you fill their bellies from your store. Their children will have all they desire and leave their surplus to their children. But I, in my uprightness, will see your face. 
and when I awake, I shall be filled with the vision of you. Okay. That's a plea of the innocent. Mm. All right. Don't know. I don't know what to do much with this one. Except for Psalm 18. It says 18. Eight. Is there a B? I don't see a B. Okay. A king's thanksgiving. Oh, well. For the choir master of David, the servant of Yahweh, who addressed these words of this song to Yahweh when Yahweh had delivered him from all his enemies and from the clutches of Saul. He said, <clears throat> I love you, Yahweh, my strength. My Savior, you have saved me from violence. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress. My deliverer is my God. I take refuge in him, my rock, my shield, my saving strength, my stronghold, my place of refuge. I call to Yahweh who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my foes. With death's breakers closing in on me, Belial's torrents ready to swallow me, Shoals snares every side of me, death's traps lying ahead of me. I called to Yahweh in my anguish. I cried for help to my God. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. Then the earth quaked and rocked. The mountain's foundations shuddered. They quaked at his blazing anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils. From his mouth, devouring fire, coals were kindled at it. Whoa, golly, what kind of a picture does this guy have of our heavenly parent? All right, all right, all right. He parted the heavens and came down, a storm cloud underneath his feet. Riding one of the winged creatures, he flew, soaring on the wings of the wind. His covering he made the darkness, his pavilion dark waters and dense cloud. A brightness lit up before him, hail and blazing fire. Man, now you know what? I would say that some people out there, not, you know, who made all them games with the dragons and the and that, uh, you know, stuff like that, you know, that you can, you know, I bet they read the Bible. <laughs> Sounds very familiar when you think of some of the movies and, as I said, the games that the kids play these days. I'm just saying. Yahweh thundered from the heavens. The Most High made his voice heard. He shot his arrows and scattered them. He hurled his lightning and routed them. See, I'm telling you. You know, the other odd thing, if this were written down anywhere else, you know, kind of as a guidance for people on how <laughs> it could be considered pagan, wouldn't it? No, no just saying. <laughs> <clears throat> the very springs of ocean were exposed. The world's foundations were laid bare. At your roaring, Yahweh, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. He reached down from on high, snatched me up, pulled me from the watery depths, rescued me from the, my mighty foe, from my enemies who were stronger than I. And it brings to mind also all them other gods, you know, when he says here, I'm just saying, okay. Uh, at your roaring, Yahweh, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. You know, these gods, you know, have all these powers, you know, well, coming out of the clouds. You know? Does that kind of sound like that? At least, huh? Some of the pictures that I've seen on how they uh, 
represent the gods, all these different gods, Zeus and, and, uh, all right, all right, all, right. all them gods. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have these pictures in my mind on when I read this. I'm going, wow, does this have anything to do with God, actually? He reached down from on high, snatched me up, pulled me from the watery depths, rescued me from my fight, mighty foe, from my enemies who were stronger than I. They assailed me on my day of disaster, but Yahweh was there to support me. He freed me, set me at large. He rescued me because he loves me. Aww. Yahweh rewards me for my uprightness, as my hands are pure, so he repays me, since I have kept the ways of Yahweh and not fallen away from my God. His judgments are all before me, his statutes I have not put away from me. I am blameless before him, I keep myself clear of evil. So Yahweh repaid me for acting uprightly, because he could see I was pure. You are faithful to, be, to the faithful, blameless with the blameless. Sincere to the sincere, but cunning to the crafty. You save a people that is humble, and humiliate those with haughty looks. Really? Yahweh, you yourself are my lamp. My God lights up my darkness. With you I storm the rampart. With my God I can scale any wall. This God, his way, his, is blameless. The word of Yahweh is refined in the furnace, for he alone is the shield of all who take refuge in him. That's a good one, actually. If you just take that one little part out. I mean, that one little section of that whole thing. That's actually pretty good. For who is God but Yahweh? Who is a rock but our God? This God who girds me with strength, who makes my way free from blame. Oh. Who makes me as swift as a deer and sets me firmly on the heights, who trains my hands for battle, my arms to bend a bow of bronze. Okay. You give me your invincible shield. Your right hand upholds me. You never cease to listen to me. You give me the strides of a giant. Give me ankles that never weaken. I pursue my enemies and overtake them, not turning back till they are annihilated. I strike them down and they cannot rise. They fall. They are under my feet. Well, interesting. So what is he doing? So his first ask is, hey, deliver me. I'm being surrounded by... <laughs> then he gets deliverance. Then what's he doing with it? Going on the attack. Okay. You know what? Dear me. Ah, you have girded me with strength for the fight. Well, if that were true, then why did it not happen like this right from the beginning? Why had why did he have to be in dire straits first? Okay, just saying. Again, how do people want to understand what our heavenly parent actually is all about? Like, uh, what his presence means. Her presence means. Yeah? Yes. You know, they sure had, this guy sure, but David, we, we talked about David enough, you know, this was David, so, but there are so many inconsistencies here, guys, how, we're so finicky as human beings when it comes to all this. We get what we want, <laughs> then we get what we want, and what do we do with it? Yes, I'm just saying, that, that kind of odd. Finicky. Willy-nilly, nilly-willy people. We are, we are. That's true. One can just say, <laughs> are most people like that? 
I've met a lot of people in my life, and you know what? Yes, most people are willy nilly nilly willy finicky people. <laughs> That's the truth. All right. Including myself, yes. <laughs> Trying to change that, yes. I said it's a restoration in progress. Come on now. Uh. They cry out, there is no one to save, to Yahweh, but no answer comes. I crumble them like dust before the wind, trample them like the mud of the streets. What? Oh. So, it, this only works for David. Other people are not allowed to cry out. I mean, they are in despair. <laughs> despair. Okay. You free me from the quarrels of my people. Wow. You place me at the head of the nations. A people I did not know are now my servants. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I think we've had this talk before. You become a king. You're the servant to the people, not the people the servants to you. That's the wrong way around. Foreigners come wooing my favor. No sooner do they hear than they obey me. Foreigners grow faint of heart. They come trembling out of their fastnesses. <laughs> Life to Yahweh, blessed be my rock, exalted by the God of my salvation, the God who gives me vengeance and subjects whole peoples to me. Who rescues me from my raging enemies. You lift me high above those who attack me. You deliver me from the man of violence. For this I will praise you, Yahweh, among the nations. And sing praise to your name. He saves his king time after time. Displays his faithful love for his anointed. For David and his heirs forever. Well, wasn't Saul anointed too? Mm. I find it interesting on when uh, people profess that God has made a choice over something and then uh, when the person, in a way, is okay doing some things that you don't like, or this, then suddenly it's not an anointed anymore, right? Oh, well, they fell away. Oh, they did this or that. Well, don't you trust God in his choice? One should trust God, right? Yes, so God fails, makes mistakes. Well, that's, you know, to begin with, no, it's either we trust God's choices or we just don't right from the start, right? Yes. I think that just changing one's mind about something, okay, again, if one wants to believe that in the choices of God, then, then you got to stick with those choices and hope that the best will happen through whoever, not just at one person or two people, but as a whole. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, anyway, uh, it's, it is what it is in here. Yep, interesting. It's in the Bible. Uh, I have no doubt that for some people, this prayer of victory, being in despair and surrounded by danger, and then they come out of it, then suddenly you know, the tables turn. Works for me, for peep, for some, maybe. I don't know. Is, is this working for anyone? I don't know. Honest to God, I have to, again, i got to go back to, I says it, can't just decide over what other people are thinking really when it comes down to it right how do they truly feel within them are they just agreeing because they don't ugh, i don't want to argue ugh, i don't have time for this i'm too tired man yes but i could see that
to some, maybe a lot of people, this sounds really good and just and yeah, right? yes. I'd have to ask if I'd come across anyone that says, yeah, Psalm, Psalm 18, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd have to ask them, why exactly? Huh? Yes, one would have to ask some questions first. All right. Psalm 19, Yahweh, son of saving justice. What was the overhead on this one? A king's thanksgiving. Oh, oh, well, I better not say what just came to mind now. Yes. Mm. Ay, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. <sighs> Psalm 19, Yahweh, son of saving justice for the choir master, Psalm of David. Okay, this is a song again now, it sounds like. The heavens declare the glory of God. The vault of heaven proclaims his handiwork. They discur discourses of it today. Night to night, hands on the knowledge. No utterance at all, no speech, not a sound to be heard. But from the entire earth, the design stands out. This message reaches the whole world. Oh, that's an interesting one. The what? The heavens declare the glory of God. The vault of heaven proclaim his handiwork. They discourses of it today, night to night, hands on the knowledge. No utterance at all, no speech, no, not a sound to be heard. But from the entire earth the design stands out. This message reaches the whole world. You know, that brings mushrooms to mind. I think I've mentioned this before a long time ago. I read up, I saw something about mushrooms and I read it. I love mushrooms. I hunt mushrooms. I gather mushrooms. <clears throat> I eat mushrooms. I cook mushrooms. And I started to read up on mushrooms. And mushrooms are the nervous system, basically, under the ground. They keep everything. Yeah. Very interesting. And if you are interested in stuff like that, on how that works, how important mushrooms are. Yes. Yeah. And most likely that's why there are poisonous ones, so we don't gather all of them to eat. <laughs> so there is enough of them around. Yes. To uh, they, they fix all kinds of things, you know. When you pu put poison out uh, to 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 kill insects or weeds or whatever, oftentimes the first thing that comes up where you did that are mushrooms. Yes, do you know why? Because mushrooms they uh, neutralize what you just destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you just saying what people do. Some people do. I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of people do that. <laughs> or, you know, if all the stuff we use even to just wash our hair or face, or right, as all this goes, mushrooms detoxify. Yeah, the ground as well. Not something. Yeah, you gotta go read up on that. All right. Can they keep up with us? Hmm. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -boo. High above, he pitched a tent for the sun, who comes fr forth from his pavilion like a bridegroom, delights like a champion in a course to be run. Did I miss something here? Oh, this message reaches the whole world. I gotta read this again confused here. High above he pitched a tent for the sun. Oh, okay, okay, got that. Oh, okay, now. <laughs> Who comes forth from his pavilion like a bridegroom, delights like a champion in the course to be run. 
Rising on the one horizon, he runs his circuit to the other, and nothing can escape his heat. Oh, interesting on how they uh, refer here to the sun as the bridegroom and as male instead of female. <laughs> yeah, see, you can have it all. Huh? You can have it all in any which way you want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> the law of Yahweh is perfect, refreshment to the soul. The decree of Yahweh is trustworthy, wisdom for the simple. The precepts of Yahweh are honest, joy for the heart. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, light for the eyes. Wow, this is actually... Really good. I wonder who actually wrote this song. I know it wasn't David. Nope. I really don't think you had it in you. Uh, it'd be interesting. Who wrote this down? It's too bad that this isn't more accurate when it comes to all this. And who did what? Yes? All right. You can tell this is a completely different style of thinking. Expressing, too. Oh, I like this one. I almost want to read it. Tw everything I want to read, at least twice. Rising on the, on the one horizon, he runs his circuit to the other, and nothing can escape his heat. The law of Yahweh is perfect, refreshment to the soul. It's true. The decree of Yahweh is trustworthy, wisdom for the simple. What did I say about it, right? If God is, if we believe, want to believe that it is God who is anointing someone, then we should trust God that he's made the right decision. Yes? For all time. Because the precepts of Yahweh are honest, joy for the heart. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, light for the eyes. The fear of Yahweh is pure, lasting forever. How the heck can fear be pure? All right, all right, all right. I know how this is meant, so but let's not let's not uh, get hung up on the word. The judgments of Yahweh are true, upright, every one. Oh, ooh, oh, this is an interesting one. More desirable than gold, even than the finest gold. Oh, yeah, well, some missed that memo. <laughs> oh, some. <laughs> His words are sweeter than honey that drips from the comb. Thus your servant is formed by them. Observing them brings great reward. But who can detect his own failings? Oh, wash away my hidden faults. And from pride, preserve your servant. Never let it be my master. So shall I be above reproach, free from grave sin. Yeah, someone else wrote this. This is definitely not the same person that wrote this other one here. May the words of my mouth always find favor and the whispering of my heart in your presence, Yahweh, my rock. My Redeemer. Ooh. So, Psalm 19. Beautiful. Gifts. This is food for thought. Yes, what I call food for thought. And to study, for example, 
this okay it's a song prayer that's really worth studying uh to try to gain an understanding of when we misbehave do we even still acknowledge that we misbehave hmm? Alright. Well, anyway, so there it is. Done that. 19. I gotta mark that one. That's a good one. Didn't I mark 16 too? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a star. Yes, my poor Bible is falling apart again. I've got so much though in ya. <laughs> again. You would think it's done breaking apart. I fixed it so many times. All right. Look. It's so bent in. You see that? It's, it has such a crease <laughs> that it's hard. I thought about trying to fix this with... Uh, I still might try to do that. Take the whole thing apart and put a cardboard. Ooh, that make me a wooden... Okay. <laughs> Poor thing. You're going to have to last. We still got a ways to go. Ah. <sighs> I've decided not to drag my Bible around too much anymore. I have other Bibles that if I go to the farm, I can read out of and have this one more stationary. It's just suffering. I don't even know how to fix that. You know what? I might watch some videos on how to fix a book like this. How? I'd have to probably. How would I do that? Gotta watch a video. I bet there is something that will tell me how to do this. Yep. Get a bunch of epoxy or something. Gotta fix my Bible. This is I got this Bible's got to last me another sixty years or something. Okay. <laughs> so that's the end of that today. I think, I hope, and if it doesn't do no good, it definitely will do no harm. I went up this morning, five o'clock, and I stood in our yard. As I said, I can see the whole neighborhood. I can see every house in the cul-de-sac here. Because that's the ha the way the house is stationed, you can see every house <laughs> over the fence. Yeah. So, and of course, they can see right into our yard. Everybody can see into our yard. Backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. In a way, I totally love it. It's like, I feel like, again, I'm living somewhere now with all these people around. That should kind of, you know, okay, but it's not. In the way again on how it, things are set up here for me. I love it. I love. I, I stood out there with my hands outstretched. And I blessed the whole neighborhood. All the people. Yes. Such a wonderful thing. When one is able to do that. Willing to do that. And what if. Right. I thought, you know, what a cool thing if we just all start blessing everything and everyone. 
<laughs> you know? <clears throat> it says con love will conquer everything, right? Yes? Well, how is that possible? We've got to start blessing everything. Coated with this beautiful energy. Mm. If mushrooms can be the nervous system under the ground and heal. Huh? Yes. Inconsistencies. Then why can't we do that? Be the nervous system. Huh? Above ground. As mankind. And just bless. Yes. Everything and everyone around us. We're going to the store today. And before I walk it, if I remember it, I'm saying it, right? Yes. Then I'll have to remember it. Spirit world will help me remember. Remember. That's the thing, right? You have all these good intentions and you go, I forgot. Why did I forget that? <laughs> when I walk into the store while we're going shopping, everybody will be busy worrying. Am I going to get this? Is there enough of that? Right? No, people. No, people fight over in a store. That's terrible. I guarantee you that I ain't going to fight over anything. If, if there is a last one and someone else goes, oh. It's like, you get it. You take it. No. That's so wrong to do that. I mean, to, 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 to fight over stuff. Anyway, so before I go in, Bless everyone in the store while we are here, and even when not, that things go peaceful, that everyone will find just enough of what they need, right? Not what they want, just what they need to have a little Thanksgiving dinner. And then maybe remember the ones right, that had to step aside a long time ago. So we can have Thanksgiving now. Yes? Yeah. All right. That's all I have to share today. May, Heavenly Parent, bless and protect you. Embrace you with love. Yes? And, God willing, I will talk to you all tomorrow.